I'm supposed to start here. All right. So, <clears throat> I'm supposed to say, well, unless you see it and hear it, you don't get the proper um, impact of my thoughts, how it impacted me, what was really going on. Therefore, it doesn't penetrate through. Well, it wouldn't have penetrated unless I cast out your demons, but now you have the Holy Spirit, so now you can hear me clearly. Okay? Look in the eyes. So she's standing right here. <clears throat> I have a tendency of, um, well, first of all, she comes in, my mind is locked. I don't, that's when I have a couple drinks and then I'm always excited every time I see her. So I'm like, I'm so glad you're here. You know, I, I had this Christian yellow day movie all set up for us like come on babe because i'd already had all this sober coffee time <clears throat> and i was like well that's a good idea i love drinking with you <clears throat> so give her a few drinks <clears throat> after doing a miracle for her so that we could get the drinks then go into the store for her so, like all right here's what we're gonna do but we're gonna make up this is our reset. Okay, thank you for coming. I'm excited you're here. We'll pray. We prayed. Cheers, um, Hebrew style. Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, maker of heaven and earth, that gave us the fruit of the vine. Okay. <clears throat> now I have a tendency when I'm thinking, cause she starts asking questions and she's like, well, what? Okay. And then she just explodes. Stop hurting me. So she's screaming, I'm way over here. She's screaming and yelling and all kinds of things like that. And I'm just like, what? Just calm down. Because this is a popular trick that she doesn't understand that the devil is used constantly to try and get me kicked out of places. I have brought people in. Someone's saying, wow. I brought people into my home. I've ministered to them and they have attacked me. Same way this has happened. <clears throat> um, previously to her, I don't like to discuss other women, but I've had other women not in here ministering to them, but before I met her in other apartments and hotel rooms, things like that. I've been doing this a long time. I find sheep, I try and bring them home. I have techniques. Someone calls the cops. <clears throat> that was kind of our rule. I don't mind if we're yelling at each other. Just don't get the cops involved. This is my life. I don't know what people expect. So she has the purposeful thought process where she's right there. She could have taken her shot, sent me to jail. But she was truthful. So thank you for that, babe. Cop instantly. Hey, come out here. Sit down. All right. <clears throat> Cop asks her, okay, what's going on with this? And she just says, well, technically I'm his wife. And they ask me, it's like, well, she just came back. So we're kind of having a talk about, you know, what occurred while she was gone. It's like, all right, cop asked her, is he hurting you? It's like, no. So she could have lied. So we're starting there, babe. Good job on that. But that's happened every single time she has come here. She has flipped out and started yelling. <clears throat> so then I'm looked at as this monster and I haven't even done anything. 
just for scratching my head. Because she had the demonic thought process that this meant someone was doing some mental magic on her or something. I have to pull this band-aid off, babe. So this entire time she's had a 100% loyal, faithful husband that does nothing but read the Bible, teach, preach the word of God, encourage people, bring marriages together, wait for her, watch the gospel of John, the gospel of Luke, sit here, waiting for her for two years i'm being told leave it at that i love you